I'm going to quickly show you how to add a trademark or a copyright symbol to your text on a Wix website. Um, so in your editor, you want to go to wherever you want to put that uh, trademark or copyright symbol and go to the text box, double click on it, and get your cursor wherever you want that symbol to be. And this is the first way of doing it. Um, you would hold down Option or Alt on your Mac keyboard and hit the number two. So Alt, Option, it's, it's one button, but there's an Alt on it and also an Option on it on my Mac. Um, if you hold that down and then click two, you're going to get the little trademark symbol. Uh, if you're on a PC, apparently you have to hold down the Alt key and then type 0174. 0174. I, uh, but that, we don't have to do that on a Mac, but that's what you do on Windows uh, PCs. But on a Mac, it's just Alt 2, basically. Um, the copyright symbol, there's all kinds of symbols, actually. So when you hit your Alt button on a Mac anyway, you get a lot of different. So there's restricted. Um, I'm trying to find the copyright. There it is. I should know by now, but it is G. So cop, uh, Alt G for that, for copyright. Another way you can do this is you can also navigate on Google. So just go open up a Google thing and put in trademark symbol. Um, and, you know, it'll put in all kinds of things, but you can actually then copy it from any uh, text. So if you see that here, you can use that and then go back to your uh, editor and just paste it. So that's another, if, if you can't figure out how to type or use the Alt 2 or the Alt uh, 0174 on PCs, um, you can also just copy and paste those. So just keep that in mind. Um, same thing with the copyright. You can type that into Google and it will show up um, and you can then copy it. Now, if you want to do a copyright and you're like, well, this is way too big. I don't like that it's as big as this. Well, the trademark naturally appears a little smaller, but copyright symbols do not. They, they show up as the same size as the text. If you don't like the look of this or if you want the, them to be even smaller, here's the other option in Wix. Um, let's duplicate this uh, text box and then I'm going to copy everything get rid of everything except for what I want. So whether it's the copyright or the TM, um, it doesn't really matter. Then I can size this down to a size that I want it to be really tiny. So if I don't want it to be big, then I can size my little text box. And, um, and this is kind of a hacky way of doing this, but this is how you can make it smaller. So then I could take it out of my real one leave a little space for it. And of course I have both of them here, so I don't need both of them. I'm going to take out the C and then put it here. The problem with doing it this way is that you, if you make any edits to the page or the text, um, that TM is not going to stick with that go native. So, um, you know, you're going to want to move it around, um, and size it. You're also going to want to do the same thing in your mobile view. Um, so if you come into mobile, you're going to see that TM kind of just is just on its own because I've added it. Um, if I want it to be where it is on the desktop, I need to actually physically manually move it over there. Um, so anyway, this is just something to keep in mind. You can use this way to create a subscript in Wix since there's not really any other way. But as I mentioned, the TM is actually a little naturally a little bit smaller, whereas uh, Option or Alt G, which creates the copyright symbol on a Mac, um, that comes in at full size. But Actually, that is pretty standard, so don't feel like you have to make this smaller. But you can, if you want, um, using Wix, you can just use different text boxes and create a little text box with a much smaller version of it. Um, much easier than trying to size it here because you don't have much control over the baseline um, so the placement of it. So where if you create a little box, you can actually have a lot more control over it. And of course, don't forget to check your mobile every time you add things like that because um, it can change your layout and you just want to make sure everything looks right. As you could see, that TM was floating there and I moved it, but I'm not actually doing that in this case. I just wanted to show you this is how you would add trademarks or copyright symbols to your uh, Wix websites. So happy Wixen!